After you've created a new decision, you'll see an overview of what the decision-making process looks like. Specifying criteria, adding alternatives, making trade-offs, and analyzing your results. Before adding any of these, it would be good to configure your software to do exactly what you want it to do. In the menu on the left, click Configuration. Here you can change the title of your decision and select the method that you want to use to determine the preference values of your criteria. Paprika Tradeoffs is the recommended method and selected by default. This methodology is a secret spice to 1000 Minds decision making and it will give you the best results. It works by having you choose between a series of two hypothetical alternatives that are defined on only two criteria, and each choice involves a trade-off. For example, would you prefer a job that pays you $100,000 a year but you hate the work? Or would you prefer to be paid minimum wage, but you love your job? The trade-offs you make are used to determine the preference values for your criteria. In this case, how much more do you care about being able to enjoy your work than you care about your salary? Paprika trade-offs is the method that will give you the most accurate results if your goal is to make a decision or come up with a decision-making framework. 10 or more criteria. Here the trade-offs will only ask you to choose between one criterion or another rather than pairs of two criteria with varying levels, which is what Paprika trade-offs does. For example, would you prefer your apartment to have a balcony or do you prefer to have a view? You won't be able to analyze your alternatives as accurately since the questions only ask about the presence or absence of each criterion rather than the degree to which your alternatives perform in each criterion. But on the upside, this method will save you time and effort if just the presence or absence of a criterion makes sense for your alternatives. If you've already determined the weights of the levels in each criterion using another method, or if you'd like to enter some weights based on gut feel, you can enter those weights directly using the direct rating method and then use 1000 Minds to analyze your alternatives more in depth. But this is not recommended if you don't already have preference values determined through some sort of decision-making software because that will lead to inaccurate results. Next, you can specify the terminology that you want to use in your decision. If you're familiar with multi-criteria decision-making or contra-analysis, you can choose either of those options to use the terminology familiar to that field. Otherwise, you can choose any custom terms that make sense to you. Of course, if you ever want to change any of the terms, you can do so at any time later in the process. Now that you have the software configured to your liking, it's time to embark on your decision-making adventure.